Hello, and welcome to our lecture on the nitrate test. Uh, the nitrate test is a broth media that we use to determine if bacteria are part of the nitrogen cycle. And in this nitrogen cycle, there are two enzymes that we are looking for. The first is nitrate reductase, NO3, and the other is nitrite reductase, NO2. And these two enzymes actually work together, uh, potassium nitrite, uh, nitrate, excuse me, is in the media, and it is broken down by nitrate reductase into nitrites. And some organisms will end here. They put nitrate, uh, nitrite back into the soil. Uh, that's the end of their reaction. But other organisms will actually produce the second enzyme, nitrite reductase, and reduce our nitrites into nitrous oxide and atmospheric nitrogen gas. And in this process, uh, nitrate, uh, nitrates and nitrites are either replenished in the soil, so plants can use them for growth, or when nitrites are broken down, these bacteria are actually what we call denitrifying, and those bacteria are removing nitrogen from the soil and putting it back into the atmosphere. So bacteria that reduce nitrate into nitrite are called nitrifying bacteria. They're adding nitrogen to the soil. And those that break down nitrites into nitrous oxide or nitrogen gas are called denitrifying. And they actually remove usable nitrogen from the soil. Organisms that don't produce either of these enzymes, neither nitrate or nitrite reductase, are called um, non-nitrogen cycle bacteria. So they're just not part of the actual nitrogen cycle. Here's the nitrogen cycle in nature, and plants require the nitrogen cycle for growth. So plants need a lot of nitrogen, and they need it in a usable form. Plants cannot absorb um, atmospheric nitrogen, and they cannot use nitrates directly. The um, nitrogen actually has to be broken down by prokaryotic organisms. So bacteria are an essential key component of the nitrogen cycle. They are what provide nitrogen to plants very much like um, our own digestive bacteria are key to our metabolic processes and oftentimes provide us with nutrients that are needed for our own cells as well. So prokaryotic organisms are really very essential to almost all life forms. So in this nitrogen cycle, atmospheric nitrogen is broken down by some bacteria, we're not looking at those in this particular test, into ammonia, which is used for plant growth. Uh, others will take nitrates and convert them, convert this ammonia into nitrites and nitrates, which are usable forms of nitrogen for other plants. And then some will actually further break down those nitrites, like we said before, these over here, and these are your denitrifying prokaryotic organisms or bacteria. So how does the nitrate test work? Well, first we of course inoculate the broth with the bacteria and we allow it to grow. Now, in the nitrate test, it's not shown in these pictures, but the nitrate test actually starts with, here's our tube, and inside of the tube is a smaller tube that is inverted or upside down. This upside down tube will, get, will capture gas if that gas is being produced by the bacteria during metabolism. So gas production will get trapped up here in the top of this tube called the durum tube, and this was... Um, indicates that nitrogen gas has been produced. The only problem with this particular detection method is that it will also capture CO2 if any carbohydrates in the media have been fermented. So the only way that we could say that our organism is a uh, uh, nitrate and nitrite reductase producing organism due to the presence of gas in the Durham tube would be if we knew for sure that the organism was a non-fermenting organism. So let's just imagine here that we are testing an unknown organism and we figure out that this organism is a fermenter. So gas in the Durham tube would tell us one, fermentation occurred, which is very much a possibility, or two, that nitrate gas, um, excuse me, uh, nitrous oxide and nitrogen gas was produced, which we don't know. So we're going to go on to step two and see if we can't use some reagents to tell us what's really going on in the tube. In step two, we're going to add nitrate reagents A and B. These reagents will only react in the presence of nitrites. This is a misspelling here. So it will only react in the presence of nitrites. In this reaction, 
uh, the reagents together with nitrites will turn red. And that's what we're seeing in this tube up here at the top. So this is red with reagents only. When our tube turns red, immediately after adding reagents, it is positive for nitrites, meaning um, nitrate that was in the media was broken down by NO3 reductase into NO2, and that was the end of the reaction. So those reagents will react with NO2. If my tube does not change color after I add the reagents, I now move on to step three. Because I don't know if my organism is negative for both enzymes, meaning the nitrates are still there and I didn't convert anything, or my organism actually produced both enzymes and was able to break down any nitrites that were there into nitrous oxide and nitrogen gas, which of course is not going to react with my reagents. So uh, no color change after addition of reagents is inconclusive. We move on to step three. In step three of this test, we're going to add some zinc shavings. These um, little flakes of zinc, zinc itself will actually react with um, uh, potassium nitrate that's in the media and reduce it. If this occurs, if the zinc reduces the nitrates that are in the media, then all of the sudden, after the addition of zinc, our tube will turn red. That's what's happening here. This tube is negative because the nitrate reduc uh, reductase did not cause the production of nitrites, the zinc did. This means that our organism is negative for both enzymes and that organism is not a part of the nitrogen cycle. If we still have no color change after about 10 minutes with the zinc shavings, we see no color change. This indicates to us that our organi organism is a denitrifying organism and it actually produces both NO3 and NO2 reductase, so this test is positive for NO3 reductase as well as positive for NO2 nitrite reductase. I'm just abbreviating reductase there. This organism up here at the top, the one that turned red with reagents, was um, positive for NO3 reductase only. So in this case, this is our nitrifying bacteria. This is our denitrifying bacteria. And this one over here is not part of the nitrogen cycle. So the key to the nitrate test is to definitely look for the presence or absence of zinc in the tube. So here we have um, just another set of nitrate tests and we couldn't really see the zinc that was in them so I wanted to make sure that you knew it was there. So here I have reagents were added to the first two tubes but there's no zinc in them. So this one would be inconclusive and this one is positive. When we move over to the reagents that have zinc in them, red is negative and no color change with the zinc is positive. So these are, this is inconclusive, this is nitrifying, this is denitrifying, and this is not applicable. It's not part of the actual nitrogen cycle itself. So remember, when it comes to the nitrate test, you want to know if it's red with zinc, red without zinc, no color change with uh, zinc, and no color change without zinc. Alrighty, good luck on the exam.